part two. How does it work? Now, most people don't like rust. Rust can ruin cars, bridges, knives, just about anything made of metal. We tend to look at rust as if it were some sort of bug or fungus eating away at the metal things. But rust is not something that eats metal. It is metal. It's just what metal looks like naturally in the earth. Natural metal is made up of two things. The metal element, for example iron, and oxygen. Natural metal is not very useful, but when you burn out the oxygen and the dirt in a very hot furnace, you create something that is very strong, and it stays strong until it combines again with oxygen and returns to its natural state. Rust is just metal that has combined with oxygen. The scientific word for rust is oxidation. Can you see the word oxygen in there? There are two things that metal needs to rust. It needs a medium and a catalyst. A medium is somewhat like a path and a catalyst is something that makes it go faster or easier. Picture yourself pulling a heavy sled of some type. Now picture yourself pulling the sled through a forest with many trees and rocks in the way. That would be difficult if not next to impossible. Now picture yourself trying to pull the sled on a dirt path through the forest. The path would definitely make it quite a bit easier to get it through there. Now picture how much easier it would be if the sled was a wagon instead of a sled. It would go so much easier on that path. So recombining metal to oxygen is kind of like pulling the sled through the forest with lots of things in the way like rocks and trees. It is difficult and not very likely to occur on its own. But if water is present, it creates a path to the oxygen and that makes it possible. And the salt is kind of like the wheels on the wagon. It makes it so much easier for the molecules of the metal and the molecules of the oxygen to go back and forth and meet up with each other. Vinegar also speeds up the process, but it does it in a different way than salt does. Salt just makes the molecules of oxygen and metal travel faster between each other. The acid, however, or the vinegar, breaks down the metal and kind of makes like a lot of tiny pieces that are exposed to the chemical process. You might notice that the one with the baking soda didn't rust very much at all, if it did rust at all, because the baking soda is the opposite of vinegar. It creates a base or an alkaline liquid that does not break down the metal. In fact, it protects it. The alkaline liquid actually kind of put th puts things in the path that get in the way of the rusting process. Now, go and print off your worksheet and try additional experiments to learn more about rust and chemistry.